Well, hello. This actually be a quick video. We're not really going to be going through a code along. This is just explaining the assignment that you have for this week. Now, last week or last lesson, what we did was we learned how to use one of NASA's APIs. They have many, but we learned how to use one of them. So if you click here where it says Browse APIs, you might remember that we did the astronomy picture of the day. So we got that picture, we displayed the picture, and we showed the explanation. And you did a few extra things to style it. Now for this week, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be finding any one of these APIs. So NASA has many of them. You're going to choose one of these APIs that looks interesting to you, and you're going to use that in your own project. All right. And there's more explanation, obviously, on Google Classroom. But what you're going to be doing is just searching through these for an interesting one. So you can do the asteroids near Earth objects one. So you can see which what things are flying near Earth. You could do the space weather, you could do Mars rovers photos, you could do NASA imagery and video library. All of these are actually very cool. You can go through, see which one looks interesting to you. Once you've picked it, really this is all you're going to do. So I was going through these and I thought the Earth polychromatic imaging camera was pretty cool. The EPIC API provides information on the daily imagery collected by Discover's Earth polychromatic imaging, blah, 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 blah. You can read a little bit more about it, but it's going to tell you like the position that it took a picture from. Um, it'll tell you, you could search it by date, um, and all these sorts of things. But really what you want to look, be looking for is these example queries, because this is really what you're going to be using, right? These are examples on how to actually use the API, and this is the documentation. And as you use APIs more and more, it get, you just really have to get good at reading over the documentation, all right, and then finding an example, and basically going off the example. So once you've chosen your API, just go to the project from last week, so let's say it was this one. This is exactly where I ended off last class. All right, this is the last one. Go to this point and first just take out what I said in this use API data. That won't apply here. You can just comment it out or delete it. That, that needs to change for this project. The other thing you're going to do is really only change what you see here in the fetch URL. That's the only thing that we're changing. You still have the same API key. You're still going to try to get a response. You're still going to get a response and then do something with the data that you got from that response, and then you're going to send it over to the use API function. The thing that you're changing is right here, the URL that you're sending a request to. All right? Um, and that's it. And remember, this template really works for most APIs. So the thing that really changes is where are you going, where are you requesting the data from? So you're going to just delete this out. And for this one, I'll just use this guy right here as an example. I'm going to copy and paste that. I'm going to put this here, and you'll see this is just using the API where I'm going to be looking using the EPIC API from NASA, and I'm going to be searching a, a, an image by date, and obviously I have to go back and change this API key to something else, API key, all right, and that's all I changed, okay, and you'll see, once again, the data that I get back is, this thing is going to work exactly the same, I just had to change fetch. The only thing that's going to change now is the data that I get back. I'm not going to get a picture of the day. I'm going to get back this epic data. I actually haven't even looked at it yet. We're going to be seeing it together for the first time. Don't worry about that error. That's the favicon error. It's always there. So if I press search, let's see what happens. All right, my response. Remember, that's the first thing. I got a 200, meaning I'm good to go. And then over here, I got 19 things back. Now, I don't even know what's in here. Let's look. Okay. It's the like the image like ID or something, a caption. This image was taken by NASA's thing, uh, the date that it was taken, the coordinates, uh, some other information about it. Great. I, so I don't think this actually gives us an image back, but it gives us some information, like the coordinates of where an image was taken. Whatever. Thanks, NASA. So your job is to find one of the APIs, all right, use it, get back some data like I did here, all right? And then just take some of this data and display it to the user. And I, I just wanna show you how easy again this is. Now, once again, this is all I would do. So once again, I'm sending it over to use API. And let's see, I'm not gonna be doing this image one, so let me just delete this out for now. And so what we're gonna do is, here's how easy it is. So you're gonna be document.querySelector. We're going to do hashtag content. The reason I'm doing content, you might remember, is because that's the div where I'm going to put the content. It's arbitrary, but that's what I'm using. That inner HTML. I'm going to say 
it's equal to data because that's like all the data we got back. Then you might remember this is all you have to do. So let's say I wanted to, oh gosh. All right, so I press this button. Obviously this doesn't work yet, but let's say I wanted to go here and I wanted to make it so the caption shows up for, I don't know, the 11th one. So I go to 11, there's this caption right here. You see where you, right here, where I'm hovering over it, and it says like right there, that kind of like this thing pops up. Just take this and go to copy property path. Okay. And now come back here and just go like this dot and then paste. Oops. Actually no dot there if you're using brackets. So it's data, 11, caption. And check this out. This is where the magic happens. Ready? See, this image was taken by NASA's Epic and it shows up right there. That was, if I went to 11, the caption. See how that caption now shows up to the user? So that's the last step. So for this project, once again, find one of these APIs that you think looks interesting. I do not care which one. You might have to use a few of them. You know, they might not work on the first one. Whatever, just throw in different URLs from those examples into this new fetch. And then just get some of that data to show up on the screen to the user. That's really the essence of this project. Um, as we move forward, we're going to probably do one, maybe two more APIs together. And then you're going to be finding any API in the whole entire world that you want to use and making a project out of that. So it's a good time to start getting comfortable with this because um, you'll be going off into the world by yourself soon. All right, that's it. Uh, it's Mr. Graybeard. Peace and out on you. Bye.